Today I'm going to show you how to make some mini pumpkin flower arrangements using dried flowers that you grow or you find around. And you can use the little um, pine cones or grasses or rose hips, anything that you want to add to this. You can be really creative. So this is a part of the DIY Mummies Fall DIY and Decor Challenge. And I'm really excited to be participating in it. So I'll show you how to make these. They're really fun. For this project, you're going to need a glue gun, an assortment of dried or dry flowers that can be dried, or you can even use little seed pods, like this is a scabiosa, uh, love and a miss seed pod. I got some poppy pods, which are really cute. Um, some good flowers are straw flowers and status. Here I got some little pine cones. Uh, some millet and grass I found around our place, uh, some little rose hips, and here's some like fake moss you can get at any craft store. And that's mostly what you can use. You can be really creative though, and I'll show a list in the description of some of the main ones I'd recommend that you can use for these arrangements. And lastly, you'll need your pumpkin. So. What I normally do when I start these little arrangements is I start with a base layer and this is normally what they do in flower arranging as well. You start with a base layer of greens. So you can be generous with the glue and if you want to, if you don't want to use moss that's fine. I'm going to use moss because it has a nice natural look to it. So you just add this in and this kind of is a good base and then you can add your other colorful stuff on top for your arrangement. And you don't have to use too much if you use that using moss. And then I'm just going to take my cutters and start adding things that I like. I'm going to put, I'll start with pine cone first. Um, let's just add, be creative. Add your things in. I like to sometimes add um, make it look like it's natural, like what you'd see in a forest. So I try to add um, things that would look very natural. You can be pretty creative with this. Make sure you have fun with it because it's really important. And here I'm going to add some, start adding the flowers, and you can add a bit of height if you want, depending what you, how you like it. So as you can see, it's starting to come together. And you can get as you can go as far as you want with these, add as much as you like. And the beauty of these is you can add color to them so they, they don't they can last like well into fall or even after fall if you want. They can last for quite a long time. Like we've had some that last up to a year or so. So they're just beautiful. And you can kind of turn it around and see if you want to add anything else to it. Try when you're putting in things to put uh, like odd numbers. You can do like one or three of something just to make it a little more even. Sometimes it works adding just like two of something. But um, if you want a real consistent look, you can add the odd numbers which make it look really nice. And we're done. So that's beautiful. So you can see, really nice. And you can add this to your table or uh, your mantle and it just looks beautiful. 
and it has nice colors and you can even keep it like really nice autumn colors as well like with oranges and yellows just keep it to that or you can add pinks and if you had a white pumpkin you can do that as well you can add pinks and it adds a nice contrast so here's the finished pumpkins I hope you try these out and give, give a thumbs up or, and subscribe for more awesome content